Henry, have you thought of a topic yet? Yeah, I want to talk about Blue's Clues for a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blue's Clues is the shit. Blue's Clues was interesting. Did you ever watch it as a kid? Wait, is this our actual fucking topic? Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we only we only have 19 minutes for two more topics. Right. Right. We'll throw something out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I watched I watched Blue Scoos as a kid. Um, I watched it a lot actually. Now yeah. That I think about it. Was it was awesome. really weird. Who's the guy who played Steve? Was his name actually Steve? Uh, yeah, Steve Burns. I want to say because I actually own his album. Yeah, yeah he, did, wasn't he like a punk that, singer or something? No, he ended, up, punk? he ended up doing indie rock and he worked with the Flaming Lips. Yeah. Like he but left for the show, he like I remember yeah, I there's a documentary was. for some reason about fucking Blues Clues because it's and awesome. It it is it was a great show, and I just remember seeing a picture of him before they cast him as Steve, and he's got like a fucking mohawk, like a blue mohawk and shit. I'm like, it's awesome. What the fuck? <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> um, that's like casting like. Um, I'm trying to come up with a good one here. Steve well, that, that's, like, that's like casting Tim Armstrong as Eric Foreman. That's the other. That's the other thing though is that he left the show because he was going bald. Yeah, and he didn't want to like do that. Like have really? that have that process happen while he's I doing a the, kids the show. The excuse they made in the show is that he was going off to college, and it was like, dude, you're old as fuck. Yeah, no, you're like thirty. <laughs> His whole thing was that he's going bald, and he likes he like that. It's kind of like weird for a kid to see like the progress of and kind of. They can notice that. By the end, he just looks like Red Foreman. And just to see this guy slowly you know going George really Foreman's bald. <laughs> 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 um, if you want to understand why we think that's funny, uh, go see watch, Uncharted. Watch, uh, watch our Uncharted Let's Play for the one, tomorrow. The one named George. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's that weird like kids show that no one talks about really because every, when people talk about kids shows, they usually talk about like Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Or I was gonna say like like the whole like '90s kids thing. So they oh, yeah. talk about like Nickelodeon and yeah. stuff and like, like not Hannah the Bar- like the prepubescent. Blues age. Clues is like the yeah. better version of fucking Dora the Explorer, you know? Yeah. Because Blues Clues, let's formulate it to to a point. Yeah, like we're gonna find the paw prints. Here we go. But it was like, and it was all like based around like just like this little block where Magento is like the next door neighbor and fucking. Creepy pedophile is over here. I didn't whatever. realize salt Peppa. And salt, I didn't realize Blue Peppa. was a girl for a, for a long. Yeah, that time. was the fucking weirdest thing because as kids, you were all, especially like kids in the nineties, um, before you know political correctness and all this stuff. And we shouldn't like colors to find our genders. We like uh, colors to find our genders. But in uh, when we were growing up, like blue was for boys and then pink was for girls. Pink was for girls. It's yeah. still kind of so like that. And so it was like the you... weirdest fucking like turnaround to realize that like blue was a girl and then magenta was a guy. No, magenta was a girl too. What? Yeah. I'm looking at this shit. I know this. <laughs> but I think this doesn't mean... seem right in the Blue's Clues lore. <laughs> the Blue Clues <laughs> saga. <laughs> but like it's like I... shot of Blue's Clues with like the fat like in the in the way of like Phantom Menace posters, like can we photo like Blue's Clues in the back and then Darth Vader shadow? <laughs> but uh, I think what made oh sorry, I'm I'm looking up uh, Steve Burns like on Wikipedia, and he auditioned for Blue's Clues because he thought it was a voiceover role, so he didn't think he would have to change his look at all because oh, he was a skate yeah, rat, yeah. and so they're like, uh, no, like you're the one dude in actually in the show, and he uh, decided to you know go go straight edge. He was just like <laughs> fuck it. Um, but uh, it was a really good show. No, well, he didn't leave because he was balding. He loved to pursue his music career. According to Johnson, Burns never uh, wanted to become a children's host. He loves kids, but stated he cannot make a lifelong career out of it. He loves so. kids, but he loves jazz more. <laughs> <laughs> Goes on uh, tour with Miles Davis and the Stooges. <laughs> but I think what made Blue's Clues work was that it didn't talk down to kids in the same way that Dora the Explorer did. Because Dora the Explorer was always like, can you see the fox? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty and that's much. That's why I love the the strong bad episode. Where it was like, uh, well, I would like if you did a kid show, a kid show like for the little babies. <laughs> and it's like, okay, kids, find the cheats. <laughs> it's like over there, over there. Oh, he's he's behind the box. No, he's barely obscured by the box. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Blue's Clues is like. That's good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry just That's because, so good. Because like, can you say other cheats? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to make the weirdest analogy. Okay. 
Blue's Clues is like to Calvin and Hobbes what Sesame Street is to the Peanuts. No, I, mean, I, I understand. I don't know. Please yeah. elaborate. Or maybe I said that wrong. Like, Blue's Clues is the Sesame Street, what Calvin Hobbes is the Peanuts. Like, it's the newer version. Oh, but now in I some ways, it's like, we like it more. One, because to us, it lasted less gotcha, time. Yeah. Because Sesame yeah. Street's still going. And Sesame Street is great. Who doesn't love, like, watching yeah. old Sesame Street? Like, yeah, one, yeah they, two, didn't, three, four, they, five, they didn't turn six, Sesame seven, eight, Street nine, into ten, a weird 11, adult 12. ABC show where they, you know, it's all behind the scenes and shit. Yeah. Muppets. I hate that show. <laughs> it's so fucking awful. But, like, like, Sesame Street is classic in the same way that Peanuts is. But, like, it's hard to, like, see why it's so great now because we've had it for so long. Yep. Like how when you go back to read old Peanuts, it's not as but, funny as you remember. Well, no, when you go back to read like original, like first couple of years Peanuts, you're, you're like, holy shit. I love this. I love this. I love old Peanuts. I, it's fucking awesome. Old That's Peanuts what, is the best. I want to get a tattoo right here of like old frowning, like round, like round hat. Head Charlie Brown. Yeah, that original like character design for Charlie Brown, I think, is my favorite. Yeah, but like it was genuine. But then with like Blue's Clues and Calvin and Hobbes, it's like it lasted as long as we wanted it as kids, and it was fun for us. It was interesting. Had enough jokes where it was like, I don't get this, but like it's cool because I think this is for my parents. <laughs> I just really, I really Blue's thought Clues. Blue's Clues was for my parents. Like I was really like. Man, I don't know if I should be watching this. It feels like something my mom should be watching. <laughs> Your dad was really high watching, and he was like, uh, "This is awesome." No, but it, I get what you mean. It made you feel like an adult because it was it. It, it didn't like just give you it the didn't fucking answer. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it didn't it talk to you, you like an way. adult. And you know, you were you were solving something like the way Steve would talk to you. Was like you were you were solving something like with him. He was him. your like, friend, man. Like, like you guys were part of a team. You the, got way me Dora, some shit. the way Dora like talks to you, it's like this very robotic bullshit. Like, like don't patronize me. I already me. know the answer, but do you know the answer? Dora the Explorer. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, it was Dora the Explorer patronized you as Steve just talked to you like a human being. Yeah, you know? exactly, yeah. and that's why. Blue's Clues. It's fucking awesome. Yep. Thank you for that topic. That was really good. That was, that was a really good out of the ass fucking topic. <laughs> yeah, we only t- that's our shortest topic ever, I think. That was like eight minutes. <laughs>